on this episode, Amari Griffin stops by. What's good? What's good? Yo, what's good? good? What's up, guys? This is episode 17 of the Nutri Era show. We got the man, Amari Him's Griffin, that's on me. the team. Yo, we at We Tech, those three. Listen, if you're dude. not here, you, sh you should have been here. Yeah, you dude, you should, should be fire, here. dude. What, what was the total entries for singles? Like 194? Something? 197 One was registered. I want to say there was probably like 12 no shows, so we had like 185. Damn, 185. Yeah, yeah. Broke, yeah. Broke yeah. It, it was, oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. That's PM, but total entrance with Melee, I think we're at like, like 230, 230-ish. Yeah, yeah. so what, what, what was the very first We Tech Those? We Tech Those 1 was, I want to say, like 143, and that was about like two years was ago. Was that the very first, like, big, big one you had like ever done, ever? Sh Shots Fired one was the first tournament I ever held, but I did. Shots, I did. Wait, wait, Shots Fired was before We Tech Those? Yeah, Shots Fired. And then I was like, yo, but, but, but I love PM, so I want to do something just for the PM community. Okay. And then I added Melee side event. So then that's when I had... We tech those after that. There was no Smash 4 at home. Um, you know what I'm saying? We tech those. It was just PM Melee. But that was right after Shots Fired 1. It went Shots Fired 1 and then We tech those 1. All right. Well, uh, besides We tech those and Shots Fired, well, there's another, another tournament that so I, I, think I, this I, is my I came to. Tournament overall, the True King. The True King. There you yeah, go. That's, that's what, what, that was, was, that's what yeah. the other one was like. I, I, was, I was there venturing at that one. That was, that was pretty lit, bro. Yeah, that was fun. That was a good time. Yeah, I think uh, our dude, uh, Light, he took out. All the way to I think third or something. He took something out guy, like that. Yeah, yeah, he got took out by uh, John Numbers or something. Because like then that. it was Angel, John Numbers Light. That's how it went. It was Angel Cortez, John Numbers Light. Yep. That was All good. right. So what's what's the origin story of Amari Griffin? Yo, like, so tell me from like from the beginning, bro. So listen, I grew up in Easton. This is where I hosted yeah, tournaments. Yeah. I grew up around here. You know what I mean? I've been living here for about 18 years. We moved to upstate New York, and then we moved back. I used to live in Rochester, New York. Yeah. My dad's job was moving us back and forth. But anyway, the crew, Easton Smash, people probably know me, you're familiar with, like, the, the ES crew. Like, we, would just, we all used to just live on the same street, you yep. know what I'm saying, all in the same block in Forks Township and Easton. And we all just became best friends from, like, middle school, and we came up. We played Smash, but we were all playing Melee, like, since, since like, day one, honestly, we were Melee yeah, yeah. heads, right? And then we, we were playing Brawl. Listen, I, I, I was always bad. I suck, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude, my crew, same I here, man. I just enjoy playing the game. You know, same. Yeah. Likewise. So, so to answer your question, like, my, my, my crew was good at, at, a, at a point. Um, uh, Cruzy Cakes and Jay Reed at Apex, I want to say t 2014, Cruzy Cakes took 16th and Jay Reed took 13th. That's when the East and Smash crew was, like, really, really on the scene. And I was just like, yo, like, I, I'm always getting knocked out of pools. My crew is bad. I was like, yo, like, but I'm trying to be a part of the community. So I was like, you know what? We, we, were, going to, we were going to Skate Tar. We were going to K-Tars, yeah, right? Yeah. And I was like, yo, I work at a hotel. I, I, I should host an event. I'm going to try it. I was like, yo, yeah, what yeah. if I get people to, to come out? And I was like, you know what? It was funny. I was chopping it up with Nark. I remember this conversation like it was yesterday. And then it just all came into fruition. And it just all came from there. All the homies just started coming out, showing yo, love. Yeah, you know what I say? Those who can't play, T.O. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so I was like, yo, that's, that's exactly what I wanted to do. I was like, I was like, that, that sounds like a good plan. And then, and then, you know what? It's stress. You know, like, like it's hard. Like, the, like, the tournament was a lot of fun. Don't get me wrong. Things yeah. could have went better. Things, things could have went worse. I feel like everybody had a good time. But, like, yo, but, I think. For We Tech Those 3, I think this is the best layout you probably have done. Okay. Dude, it's like mad. Dude, I, I thought this place grew bigger, bro. Yeah. Like it's the same space. Yo. Sh sh like, there's mad space, and there's, like, I think this is the most you ever had in here, right? Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. like, dude, like, just having it all down one side, and mm -hmm. that's, like, that's it, nothing in the middle. Like, I like how True true Kings, how you had, like, the square. Exactly. No. Just, like, with like, the T setups, this, you know what yeah, I'm saying? All yeah, all this, like this, perfect, bro. All right, man. So, yeah, the, the T section, I was, like, when I saw that True King, I was, like, nah. Yo, nah. listen, let, and let, you got you got you got yeah, to have trial and error. You had to have trial and error. You know what I mean? We tried it. I wasn't too crazy about it, but the, but actually the reason why we did it is because the ballroom isn't the biggest ballroom in the world. It's a nice size, but to maximize space and you can stagger the setups that way. That's kind of why they voted yeah, for that. Yeah, yeah. But I kind of like the idea of having more of the walk through space and then just add in the room down the hall to kind of separate. Oh, you got the. Yeah. I even know we had an extra room down. Yeah, because you was chilling here down down here. That's right, but um. Down the hall, that's where melee everything was. Down the hall, oh, I had another room down I was, there. I was yeah. walking and, and mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, where the where, yeah. where the fuck is melee? <laughs> there's, there's probably about 16 melee setups all the way down the hall. Oh, okay, yep. how many people did you have for melee? 73. Damn, I got dude. double check, but yeah, me, me. yo, yo sh shout outs to Vortex because I was about to almost drop melee. I was gonna drop melee doubles, but he was like, yo, let me find out and um, l like like he was like, yo, let me let me let me get some people for melee. Like let me see what I could do. I was like, like listen. 
I, I, I'm going to take it for it. I'll, I'll leave it up to you. And then he did. He pulled through. So it was fun. Melee was hyped, too. I want to say grand finals was Junebug and Slox. And Junebug took it. Oh, Slox was? Yeah. I didn't even know Slox was coming out. Bro, He's from Connecticut. Jesus. Bro, Slox signed up two days ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay that's probably yeah. why I didn't know. Yo, so um, what's like, what's, I, I try to ask everybody this now. What's like community mean to you, man? Yo, c community is like, to me, like. Like, what's your definition? Like, like, to like what you do, you know, like. So th the thing I love about this the most, like the Smash community as a whole, is because I end up b b befriending like people, like like even you, like me, me yeah, and you. Man. Like I, w I would have never met you if I wasn't part of the Smash community. You know what I mean, yep. I meet people from all over. You know what I'm saying? Like here's a perfect example of what the community means to me. Like I went on Hawaii vacation last year in um in uh, June 2017, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm sorry, June. Ju yeah, matter of fact, this past June, I went to Hawaii for a week, right? And I hit up the Hawaii uh, SSBM crew and the Hawaii Smash 4 crew. I was like, yo, I'm going to be in Hawaii, such and such a date. It's like, I'm a T.O. on the East Coast. W within two hours, these people hit me up. I, I kid you not, people I've never even met in my life, they picked me up from the airport. They took me all around. Like, they, they took me to, like, Obama's old neighborhood. They took me to, like, local Hawaiian restaurants, to the North Shore, everywhere. Didn't ask for anything. Like, we filled up their gas tank, gave them some money. Didn't ask yeah, for anything. But, like, up. just for being a part of the Smash community, like, just like just just like people that sh that show love, like it's it's just like it's 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 almost like like a family, you know what I'm saying? Like you got friends from California, you got people coming out from, from Texas, you know, Florida, everywhere. Like just people who wouldn't normally cross paths, and everyone just kind of has a common interest, and then you just make friends that you wouldn't you wouldn't know, you know. Yeah, I man. keep in touch with a lot of these people, even outside of these tournaments. So that's that's what the community means to me. Just like. Just like s s something to do more more than your than your regular nine to five, you know. Yeah, man. Everybody says like I look for forward the to these things like all the time. Like like when I don't have an event hosting at my at my store, like I'm just like waiting till the next weekly, bro. I'm like I can't wait to open up. You know I what I mean? See, I want to see some upsets. Like that's why I like, like that's why I go to work for, man. That's hype. That's the hype. Like yeah. everything that comes along with it, you know. Like like of course the community, but the hype competition. That's why I started running fun rages to get the top players flown out. Yep. You know what I mean? All of that, like. The, bar, the the bar is open, so you get to, you get to have a few drinks with your with your yeah. people out here I'm low. at the same time. You know, same. I, I I'm actually good. Like I don't need a <laughs> refill. Yeah, I'm just chilling. But you know, but but all of that, you know, and it just gives people an opportunity everywhere to do what they do. Like give their opportunity to shine. Like we got the top players. We got me, ITO. We have we have our vendors. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like everything. Like our streamers. Shout out to Chibo. But yeah, Chibo does a good job. He, he does like almost like every single one, right? Yeah. I've worked with him for every single tournament that I had. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like where where do you see like like shots fired and we tech those true kings like going like so there's gotta be there's gotta be some path you can't you know it's like yeah it's cool to do this, like the same thing for like a couple for a couple years but mm -hmm. like after that it's like yo what's the big move bro so I'm actually waiting for like for like a few years I'm actually I'm actually waiting for like so n now that now that um ultimate's out and that Dragon Ball Fighters is out I oh, plan yeah. on hosting those alongside with that but but I don't plan on get what. Well, Basically, what I'm waiting for is like I got like a five-year plan in, in mind a little bit. Like, I don't I don't want to talk about it too much, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't feel like really really investing into the PS4 scene too much because then PS5 is gonna come out within the next couple years. So then once that comes out, I plan on basically long, long story short, I'm, I'm gonna be hosting uh, PM for the, for the long term. I'm not trying to let this die as long as oh, I, yeah, as long the, as I I'm keep in this there running, all the way, man. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah. We got a downfall happening next month. On the next 17, month. So yeah. And you're in Wallingford, Connecticut? Yeah. How far is that from here? How far do you come out there? It's like, it was like three hours to get here, man. It wasn't, it's not even that bad. That's it? Yeah, that's literally it, bro. I'm slacking because I haven't been to your venue yet. I haven't I been you down have, there That's yet. why I mentioned I haven't, that. I haven't been down there yet. Listen, listen, call me out. Put me on blast. I need to come show love. But, like, but like just, just to double back to your question, like, I'm going to try to keep posting events about this size. It's super convenient because I work at the hotel. I host probably about, like, two to three events a year. Not, not really more than that, but, like, the long-term goal is to like to like have like my first like five six hundred man event by like the beginning of, of 2020 is like what I, what I'm aiming for you know what I'm saying and just keep it moving. You're, from there. you're looking for a different spot though, right? Oh, absolutely. So yeah, 500 people ain't gonna work in this one. So April 1st yeah. um will be my four-year mark working for Hilton. I plan on moving up the ranks in Hilton, getting into a bigger hotel, getting into a bigger ballroom, and then being able to oh absolutely yeah, 500 people will not fit in this venue. Oh, yeah, no yeah, way, yeah. no way. So like get getting you know what I'm saying a bigger ballroom and then just kind of kind of taking it from there working from there you know but yeah man if you need I, help with that the dragon ball man i got you man i got settles bro I, i'm gonna take you up on that and like and and like before i forget this point i plan on hosting all my events though in hotel venues though in hotel venues for the most part i feel like that's, that's pretty up, convenient for the players you know like if, if, 
you, you just want to take a load off, you go up to your room, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, you don't got to drive. I don't, I don't like the idea of mostly having to like drive to a venue if I can avoid it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, try, I try to do that, so you know. But. All right, man, uh, any, last, uh, any last thoughts, bro? Let's see, man, like, like, I, I, I'm just glad, I feel like everybody was having a good time. A few people come up to me, like, listen, man, I had a great time at the event. I loved it, you know, like, a lot, like, I, I just want, I guess I just want to give a few shout outs, if anything. Yeah, man, go ahead, man. If, if that's cool, like, like I said, shout out to Chibo, like, I, I, I don't think I give him enough credit. Like, he really, he really, like, puts in work for the event. I'm sure these videos will be uploaded to YouTube within, like, the next couple of days, which is, you know, fantastic. I want to say, um, sh shout out to Thunder's Rain. He was supposed to be out here, but yeah, man, he get, ended up get better, bro. He was he was under get the better. weather, so he couldn't make it. So I hope he feels better. You know what I mean? And uh, I hope he sticks with PM. I hope that I hope the community doesn't get to him too much. You know, so I want to see. He's number one, right? What's that? Is he number one? I want to say he's number one. Yeah, but but don't quote me on that. But I do think he is ranked number one still. Yeah. And then um, sh sh shout out to Face in the AON venue. He came, he pulled through with 28 CRTs. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and a U-Haul truck from upstate New York a few hours away, so that was, that was love. Shout out to you, you always come through with the setups and everything. Yeah, Yo, let's try. Right. Shout out to, 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 I didn't even know you had the channel, so I'm glad, yeah, I'm glad. Yeah, episode 17, let's go, bro. That's really. what I'm saying, man, let me know. Like, let me, like, 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 keep it, I, I appreciate that you're having me on, on the show. This is actually my first interview ever, too, so like. There you go, man. Same. Yo, we all gotta start somewhere, bro. That's what I'm saying, yep. Yeah, cause it's like, it's kind of hard to try to get people out to the store to try to get it, so I'm like, yeah, Yo, you know what? I'm mm -hmm. just gonna bring my fucking computer and just do the episode that's, that's right a great at the idea. Spot, Listen. Bro. You have my blessing. Feel free to do this at any of my events. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Man. Absolutely. I love that. I love that. All right. So this year, mm -hmm. what, do we, what, do we, what do we got? Do we got True King 2 coming up? Yo, so yes. And I'm actually, I didn't want to announce anything until this event was over, but I'm aiming for not July because I want to go I want to go show love to Biggest Bout, and they're having that in July. They don't have a, a date set in mind yet, so I don't want to say anything. Which but is that, number one thing, don't do it in August. Because okay. I heard, I, this is what I heard. Evo yeah. is moving to August. They are. That, that's and a then fact. Super Smash Con, Shine, and there's like another one, uh, su uh, Summer Summer Jam from uh, Big E. Okay. Like, I think they're all in that month. Dude. It's like literally crazy, bro. So August is out of question. August is Aug like August out of the out question, question, bro. And because I plan on going to Evo, so August is also yeah. out of question for that, too. So I mean, like, it's August is like, ugh, it's packed, bro. Then probably May or June. Yo, most, most like, yo, May, I think May is just dry. May is like, dry? I have nothing, bro. I know Smash the Splash is on. June third, okay, that weekend. I didn't, I didn't hear any tournaments in May, any tournaments whatsoever. True King two in May, that might, that might be a move. That might be a move. Yeah, yeah. like I'll, I'll let you know what dates that like we're doing up, uh, up uh, in New England, so you can like avoid those dates. Right. But I think like May is like wide open, man. I, I haven't heard anything. Then, then listen, like we're, we're gonna touch base, and then I'll keep you posted for May. If May is wide open like that, states. I don't want to say, I don't want to say it just yet. Like it might be May. We might have it in May, but. But May, May, my schedule is open in May, so we, I, if that works, if May works out, that could happen. But if not, if then, then not August, then expect it no, no probably later than September, September, yeah. And then if we check those four, we'll be in 2018, it'll probably be in December or November, December or November. So this towards the end of the year, yeah. yeah yep. We'll play it by ear. I'll keep you guys posted, you know what I'm saying? You might see me on another episode, and then I'll, then I'll, yeah, get, I'll give you the inside the, the scoop, follow you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, so we'll take it from there. That's to be continued, though. All right, guys, for uh, episode 17, Amari Griffin, Drizzle, yeah, we out of here. That's me. Appreciate it. Much love. Catch y'all next time.